Thank you very much indeed. Counsel, uh, question H, Councillor Kitkat, you have received a response from Councillor Theobald. Um, do you have a supplementary? Uh, Mr Mayor, before I ask my supplementary, I wonder if you would be ever so kind as to ask Councillor Theobald to answer my original written question, which asks for the list of authorities using these model bins, and he has not provided that. Uh, you have received an answer. If you wish to ask that as a supplementary, that is your prerogative. Thank you, Mr Mayor. I was only asking you if you would be so kind. Um, my, my supplementary is... Um, Goes, goes back to the January Council meeting, if you will. On the 29th of January, Councillor Theobald responded to my question over who he consulted on these new model bins without foot pedals. And he stated, and I quote, my answer to your point is that we have trialled these various bins. We have actually consulted residents, and residents in the main prefer the ones that we are now putting out. We constantly consult with residents. We like to get what their views are and how easy they find them to use. We have trialled them, and these are the ones they are preferred. This is what Councillor Theobald said. Yet, when I conducted a Freedom of Information request, asking for documentation, photographs, or in fact any consultation responses at all to this alleged consultation, the Council was unable to provide anything at all. Does Councillor Theobald believe that he has acted responsibly in the residents' best interest, Mr Mayor, by imposing these new model bins on them without consultation, and will he apologise for the mess he has left them in? Uh, Councillor Theobald? Yes and no. Councillor Duncan. Thank you. Um, Councillor Theobald, when you recommend that for, if we seek technical information about any of the service delivery over which you as Cabinet Member preside, would you recommend that we use the 292929 number to get that information? <laughs> Councillor Theobald. I, I don't know whether you have email, um, but if you do have email, then I would suggest, because I see all the emails going in and I see the quickness of the responses that, that come from them. So I would suggest email. Thank you very much indeed. Question I, Councillor Kitkat, you have received a response, etc. Do you have a supplementary? I do, Mr Mayor. Uh, my question is whether Councillor Theobald is in control of his department when three residents have been told by City Clean Operatives that their recycling collections have changed from weekly to fortnightly. Will Councillor Theobald apologise unreservedly for his oversights, failure to ensure proper planning, and the disrepute brought on the Council by the failures in this collection service? Councillor Theobald. Well, we don't agree with that. Um, I understand that you have received a complaint from one person, uh, a person that I think most of us actually know here, uh, a person called Simon Williams. And if I do believe, I think he was a, a councillor on this council. If I do believe, I think he was a Green councillor on this council. <laughs> and he c complained that his boxes were not collected and that we must have introduced a fortnightly collection where they used to be weekly. This is not the case. There has been no administrative error. Uh, Councillor Theobald, there's a point of order coming in. Councillor Elgood. By revealing the name of a resident, the councillor has uh, breached the Data Protection Act, therefore breaking the law. Uh, I will now take legal advice. Um, I am advised that it was properly used because it was relevant to the context of the question. Uh, that is the legal ruling, and of course I, I wouldn't um, think to overrule our chief legal officer. Please, will you continue? I also said that I believed, uh, Mr Mayor, I'm generally quite careful in that connection. Uh, I can't remember what the rest of the supplementary question was. I do apologise for that, but I think I have answered it. Well, just in case you haven't, um, could you remind Councillor Theobald? <laughs> Thank you, Mr Mayor. You're ever so kind. Uh, the, the questions were in two parts. One, whether Councillor Theobald believes he's in control of his department. And I mentioned three persons who had been told by City Clean that, that three persons had been told by City Clean their collection had moved from weekly to fortnightly. And whether Councillor Theobald would apologise unreservedly for his oversights and failure to ensure proper planning and the disrepute brought on the Council by the failures in this collection service. Thank you kindly, Mr Mayor. Councillor Theobald. 
I find it interesting, I, I think I'm right in saying that the population of Brighton and Hove is uh, 255,000, 260,000 of our population. And, and how many people is this, Councillor Kit Kat? Three. Uh, I rest my case. <laughs> Councillor Oxley. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Mr Mayor, would Councillor Theobald agree with me that if the Greens wish to, bring, wish to uh, discuss these matters in detail and the political direction um, of the uh, refuse policy, that they can easily bring a, a notice of motion to this Council? And if they wish to discuss technical matters, then they can also do that at a Cabinet member meeting. And would he invite the Green Councillors to bring forward such a motion so that we can hash this out? And does he look forward with me now? Uh, and, and can I say that I look forward with him to joining him on YouTube around the world? Thank you, Mr Mayor. Councillor Theobald. Well, interestingly enough, um, at my CMMs, I do have um, some interesting questions, and I'm looking across now at Councillor Davey, who asks me, comes forward quite properly, and asks me an, uh, an interesting question. And there are other members sitting over there who come along, um, and yes, C Councillor Hawkes, Councillor Mitchell, all sorts of people come along and ask, uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I'm so sorry, oh, various uh, esteemed uh, <laughs> councillors, all of whom I have enormous respect for, uh, <laughs> come along and ask the most... Um, Ridiculous. No, no, <laughs> most, re really good questions <laughs> and uh, really excellent questions. And I'm always delighted to discuss them uh, at those CMMs, and I'm sure colleagues would, would, would nod. Uh, the one person who seems to not come along to my CMM and asks me, uh, really interesting questions is Councillor Kit Kat. But, uh, so, Councillor Oxley, in response to you, I would be delighted to see Councillor Kit Kat at uh, my CMNs. Thank you very much, Mr Mayor. Thank you very